Hey all, it's uh, Ragraf here. I thought I would uh, put out a quick video um, just detailing what I'm going to be doing in 0.1.2. I've been having a look at a few things in 0.1.2 before I did a video. Um, one of the purported good things in 0.1.2 that we were all really excited about is the fact that performance has been improved with the machine streaming and the sound issues. But I unfortunately haven't seen any improvement in my end game factory on my last playthrough. So I've decided I'm going to start again uh, with this and I'm going to do a different build. I'm going to do a subterranean build. Um, so seeing as we don't have base building parts yet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and create a, a series of interconnected rooms rather than one big factory and I'm going to do that underground so that uh, I can uh, do that. But another thing I thought I'd have a look at as well is uh, the ore veins where we're meant to have uh, some more ore nodes being put in. Now I couldn't see any on this one between the two. I'm going to put my comparison up here. I haven't looked at them side by side myself. Um, there might be an extra node at the top here on, on this one. But there are definitely some on the node upstairs where I'm going to actually build my factory this time. I haven't mined the... Oh, okay, I did mine these out, but uh, I, I managed to lose my save. Um, but I couldn't see anything on these ones that were extra either at a cursory glance. So let me run up the top here and we'll have a look at what I have done so far. I, I've set up, as you saw there, the default starter build which is uh, six drills to five smelters to be nice and efficient. And as you can see, I have started my research cores going up here and in down the... Oh, see, I'm getting these hitches, which I never had during early game on my last playthrough. All of a sudden, I'll get a hitch and uh, FPS will drop down to about half. So I'm really not sure where these improvements are. But I'm definitely getting more hitches than I used to get. Um, so I'm not sure if there is an issue there. I will um, let Firehose know on their Discord that I'm getting that. But as you can see with this node up here, there are definitely more nodes. This bit here was set out on its own before. There, there was just an extra bit out on the side. I'll put the comparison up so you can see it. And these two spikes at the top here are definitely new. So there's definitely some more on this node. So we, we can see in practice that there are definitely more ore nodes around the, the level altogether. So this is where I'm going to start going subterranean. Uh, I'm going to use the front here because uh, I obviously want my water wheel um, production for energy to be over this side. And I'm going to go down underneath uh, underneath this node, uh, I think, so that I've got the other node over this side and we can build all the way under and have a little tunnel going under the river as well. And I'm going to have one of my um, research node tree uh, towers going up here, as you can see. And I'm going to do the other one on the other side. So they're both sort of sentinels to the entrance of my underground base, as it were. So that's what I'm planning on doing this time. And uh, I hope you'll watch through with me again. Uh, as always, I won't be showing you everything that I'm doing. I've already upgraded Victor twice uh, to get to, you know, with the easy upgrades that it can, it can take. So the first upgrade and then a, a nice easy upgrade with the second one. Anything new that I do find, I will try and capture uh, in between my videos. But anyway, I hope you join me on this adventure. And uh, well, you know, hit that like button, hit the subscribe to see the uh, other ones coming up. You'll have to change that bell icon to uh, be notified as the series goes on. But uh, I hope you watch with me and I'll see you in the next video all. Bye.